So today's topic is SR flip flop. First, we will make SR flip flop, and then we will convert this flip flop to the D flip flop. Here in the screen, you can see we already made the SR latch in our last video. If you didn't saw that video, please go and check out this video. I will give you the link on the i button or in the description. First, you need to know how to make a SR latch by using this NAND gate IC. After that, we will modify that circuit to behave as a SR flip flop. Okay. In the circuit, you can see here this is the SR latch circuit, right? As we don't have any clock pulse. Okay. So now what we need to do? We need to make the similar circuit, but we need to add the clock. So this is the latch, and now we need to make the flip flop. So how can we make that one? First, the basic element, the latch, it will be the same. Here you can see this is S and this is R and this NAND gate input and this NAND gate input are shorted, right? Now here we don't have any clock pulse. So if we need to convert this circuit to a SR flip flop, what we need to do? We need to remove the this short circuit connection first and then we need to attach the clock pulse. So I made with a different color. then this will be the clock pulse right in general we all know what is clock pulse clock pulse is nothing but a square wave okay this clock pulse we generally use in flip flop register and counter right here we have two state zero and one in general we made clock pulse by using tv5 timer op amp or transistor but when you will go for the examination at that time they will not provide you this kind of automatic clock pulse okay so what you need to do you need to make a clock pulse where you need to manually change the clock pulse from 0 to 1 that means what you need to do you need to make a switch like this where one will be 0 volt and there will be 5 volt okay and there will be switch like this this will be the clock where if the switch is connected to this one that means your clock is zero if the switch is connected to this one that means the clock is one okay so i will use this breadboard the bottom one to make the clock pulse and i will add that one in our SR flip-flop circuit okay so to convert the SR latch to SR flip-flop the first thing we need to do is need to remove the connection from the first two NAND gate that means you know that this brown color and this red color you can see these two is a short right this will short number one two pin and number four five pin so first our job will be remove these two pin okay this two removed and we need to add the clock pulse on the number two so this should be the clock pulse the brown one and number four right so these two should be the clock pulse so i will short this one in my bottom breadboard okay so this should be our clock pulse okay so i will made i just attach this white cable this should be our clock pulse okay so what we need to do we need to make one zero and one one right so for the zero i just use this one as my zero okay and this one as my one okay so this will be one this will be zero so for the one we need to connect it to the breadboard source and for the zero we need to connect it to the first breadboard ground okay so here I already made this point will be 1, this point will be 0. Okay, and to check what is the value of clock pulse, I will attach a LED such that you will know the state of the clock pulse. Okay, so here 
this one is the clock pass point so i attach one kilo ohm resistance and connect the led okay so this green one is our clock pass if this one is zero that means clock is zero if this one is one that means clock is one okay so here you see my clock pass is one okay and if i change it to zero then you can see my clock pass is zero now okay i think no problem now let's start the circuit with the value one and zero that means i want to set the output that means our s will be one here you know that this one is our s s is one and r should be zero right so our r is this yellow one is our r right number four pin so i connect it to zero so you can see s is 1 r is 0 right that means output should be 1 but here you can see the output is not 1 output is 0 what is the problem the problem is my clock pulse is 0 you all know that if the clock pulse is 0 then if i change the value of s and r the output will never change okay so now what you need to do just change it from 0 to 1 you see our clock pulse is 1 output is set right and you also know that now if i change the clock pulse from 1 to 0 then it will be memory state right so you can see the clock pulse is 0 but output is still set why is i change the clock from 1 to 0 so the state is memory state okay so for this one now we need to do the truth table our truth table will be You can see this is our SR flip flop or SR last root table, but this one will be when clock is 1. Right? So, first check this one. First, I made the clock 1. Okay? For the clock 1, I will check. I already set the flip flop with S equal to 1 and R equal to 0. So, flip flop is set. Now, I need to make S is 0 and R is 0 to check it will work as a memory or not. You see? s is 0 r is 0 output is set that means output works the memory right now what i will do i will check the reset one that means s will be 0 and r will be 1 so you can see r is 1 and s is 0 so q bar is on the white led is on q bar and the red led is off that means q is off that means my flip flop is already reset q is 0 q bar is 1 okay so now we need to check again the memory step that means 0 0 so for this one just move the yellow one to 0 you can see my output is still 0 right that means the q bar is 1 q is 0 that means it works as a memory okay so you can see here for this one already 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 is done now let's give 1 1 s is 1 and you can see r is also 1 so with the clock 1 we already saw all of the state is working fine right now what we need to do I will show you with the clock 0 that means the truth table will be clock 0 s don't care r don't care output will be qn and qn bar that means memory right so now first I will set the flip flop flip flop set means the s will be 1 and r will be 0 you can see s is 1 r is 0 so q is 1 q bar is 0 and clock is 1 right now what i will do i will move our clock from 1 to 0 this one is a clock one right so move the clock from 1 to 0 you can see the green led is turned off right that means currently the clock is 0 okay now if i change the value from 1 0 2 0 1 anything output should be the same right now if i 
reset the flip flop by s equal to 1 r equal to 0 output should not be changed let's see s is changed to 0 and r is changed to 1 right in this condition the flip flop should be reset if clock is 1 but you can see clock is 0 that means it works as a memory okay now let's move that one that means let's make the clock 1 and we can we should see the output will be 0 that means qr will be 1 the white will be a white led will be turned on you see clock 1 white led turned on that means our sr flip flop is completely working fine no problem okay now what we need to do we need to make the d flip flop with this one to make the sr flip flop to d flip flop we all know what we need to do just connect a not gate from here thanks for your time please do share this concept with your friends and if you like this video please press the like button it is really means a lot for me bye bye